walking you through the performance, the sound, and towards the end of the video, the whole installation process. So the first thing I'm sure you wanna know is what does it sound like when you start it up and when you rev it, uh, especially from the intake side. If you've seen my Bordla videos, you've seen the exhaust side of the car. So here's what the startup and rev sound like from the front. sounds pretty great from all the sides now uh, and it sounds really good in both mid and sport mode now what I'm gonna do is pop it into sport go down into second gear and do a quick pull for you and that'll lead us to talking about performance so second gear foot down and uh, there's the pop so it sounds pretty damn good it is really fun and I want to tell you, you know, so you don't expect the same thing out of your car, that now my car has a uh, Craven intake uh, on the front, the Borla exhaust on the back, and it also has a JB4 tune. So it is going to be pushing a decent amount more power than uh, your stock car, probably, because it doesn't have the tune. And the intake has really um, brought the tune up. It, you know, the butt dyno says that there's more power now, but the other thing is I think the JB4 is having a hard time adjusting to the intake. Uh, and I'll talk more about that in a second, but um, all in all, the butt dyno, you know, the sensation that I get from the seat of my pants when I put my foot down in first, second, third gear is saying that the car is a decent amount faster now. That might just be because, you know, I hear that blow off and the turbo every time I let off the throttle or, you know, shift gears. Oh God, it's so fun. Um, but, you know, the car does feel faster. I don't know how much faster a stock F56 would feel uh, you know if you didn't have the tune on it but since it has the tune and the intake now it is making a huge power difference and I'm even spinning tire in third gear like foot down sport mode third gear it is spinning tire uh, which is getting kind of ridiculous but is also just stupid fun in this car so there's that performance wise I do think it brings the performance up the butt dyno says yes it's a more sensational drive so I have to say that this is uh, definitely a setup that I would recommend and I especially recommend it because of the sound and that brings me to another point so I usually drive the car in sport mode so I can get the burbles these pop pop pops from the uh, exhaust which you know you have stock you just get it louder with the portless setup that I have and I've actually been driving the car more in just pure mid mode because I love hearing the intake sound, you know, the build up when you're putting your foot down, when you're getting boost, and then when you let off and the little bit of overrun. So let me explain what that's like. I'm in mid mode right now, second gear. And you hear that whoosh type sound, that whoosh whip, uh, and it is just super fun and awesome. Uh, it doesn't sound as good in neutral, but you know, when you have the car under load, it sounds really good. And so um, the sound is phenomenal. That's what this is really for. In the uh, Miata that I have, my 91 Miata, I put an intake on and that totally changed the sound of the car. And then here I was like, okay, I have exhaust, tune, I want the sound from the intake and you know, I got the performance gains out of it, which is awesome. So if you're looking for something to give you a more fun driving experience, that's not ridiculously annoying. Like it, it's not always present, but you know, if you're getting up into the higher RPMs, then you will definitely hear the sound. Uh, and you want a little bit of performance gain, you know, if you're running without a tune, uh, this is super highly recommended. So I would say, yes, you should get it. And the installation is super easy, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. Now, two issues that I have that I want to tell you about before we get to the install is uh, one, the intake when I was, I was actually trying to film this review a few days ago, I was driving the car really hard, like 
I like I was having a great time. It was hard to concentrate on the video. And uh, the intake, actually, when I got home and was filming some extra clips for my five things you didn't know about the Mini Cooper video that's up on my channel, uh, the car turned on for about 10, 20 seconds and then shut off. And I was like, hmm, that's really weird. And it was in neutral and, you know, everything should have been fine. And then it did it again and I popped the hood open and the filter came off the metal piece uh, and you know I tightened it all the way down and I, I kind of had this worry when I was first doing the install and I think what happened is since it's been really really cold out here in California surprisingly it's actually been really cold like 40 degrees the whole week 40 to 50 uh, I think the um, clamp uh, the actual like silicone piece I think it's silicone of the cone uh, kind of has like a lubricant to help you get it on the metal piece uh, you know when it's brand new it just has this like coating on it and uh, what happened was, and this is in mid mode, and the car is pulling this hard. Jesus, uh, it is like throwing me back in my seat. Uh, what happened was, I think I was riding the car so hard that it was like slowly slipping off because it never got a chance to dry in a sense. So, you know, when you do your install, just make sure that you tighten the hose clamp a lot. Uh, and if it's really cold in your area, when you do the install, you know, check on it after like a day or two, just to make sure that doesn't happen. I think that was a really rare case. And I did tighten it all the way down. Uh, but now I did push the filter on a little bit more and I tightened it and it's been four days, I think. And it's been totally fine. I've been driving like a lunatic. So, uh, no worries at all there. Hopefully you guys can see this. really fun but I just want to give you that warning you know the install is super easy but make sure you have it all done and then the other thing is with the tune like this morning I was leaving my house and if you've ever heard someone like heaving really hard trying to catch their breath or like having an asthma attack my car kind of felt like that this morning when I was leaving my driveway it's only in reverse that it does this and I think it's just when it's cold I need to let it warm up maybe for a minute or two more in just neutral um, it you know got down really low in the idle. It was like idling at like 500, just for a second, you know, when I clutched out in reverse, and it was like, and uh, I thought the car was gonna die. Thankfully it didn't, uh, but I think it's just the JB4 is like throwing things off. So if you're stock and you do this intake install, it should take you maybe half an hour, uh, and then you'll be set and you'll just have an awesome sounding car. And you will hear the intake a lot more than I do because I have the Borla exhaust, which is louder than stock. And so keep in mind, if you have no mods done to your car and you've never installed anything yourself, this is the fantastic first piece to get. This is a super easy installation to do. Basic tools, you can't really mess anything up too much. So it's a pretty low, low stress job. Um, you know, you can do it just following the PDF that's on the Craven Speed website. Uh, and you'll get a whole new experience in your car. It'll sound a lot better and you'll really appreciate having a turbo car. Uh, and you'll be able to scare some people with the sounds that this thing makes. So anyways, let's get to the install. So the installation actually wasn't too bad and a huge thanks to my friends over at Dynamic Detailing for letting me do the install inside their shop and of course record there in Santa Clara, California. So this is what the stock setup looks like. This is what your car is like under the hood right now, more than likely. And once you have the Craven intake installed, it doesn't look all that different since you do keep that stock air duct. Uh, at the bottom of the frame, which helps draw cooler air from outside the car through the grill up to the intake. So inside the box, we have quite a few different pieces. We have the k and actual filter. So this is the cone that you just clean once a year. It's totally good for the whole life of the car. And we have this aluminum wall that kind of holds everything together. And then the actual piece that connects the air hose to the air filter and houses the mass airflow sensor, which are gonna pull off the stock box. So as you can see, really high quality billet aluminum parts from Craven Speed. They look really good. And uh, unfortunately, my camera died about halfway through filming the removal of the stock intake. So that is actually a pretty easy part. There's an online uh, tutorial PDF that Craven Speed includes, which is really easy to follow. So once you have the stock intake and duct removed, that's when the fun part starts. So the first thing you're gonna do is remove the mass airflow sensor from the stock air box. So as you can see, you just use um, you know, a basic screwdriver and you can remove this part. And this is the sensor that reads how much air is coming into the car, which basically tells it you know, how much throttle to give when you're pushing down the gas, how much boost, a whole bunch of stuff that I know nothing about since I'm not super technical into cars. But this is a very important piece that if you don't have, your car is just not gonna run. So uh, as you can see here, it's a small piece that you remove from the stock airbox as you just saw and place it into the Craven Speed piece. 
Now, you can see that it doesn't sit perfectly flush when you first put it in. And this kind of had me worried, but I want to mention it because once you put in the screws that hold it, it is perfectly flat. So you can see that right here. It's a perfect fit. It almost looks stock. You know, the color is exactly the same, which is awesome. So this is a big ups to Craven Speed. And as you can see, there's the uh, airflow sensor right there. Now, one of the more difficult parts of the installation is actually getting uh, this piping piece from Craven Speed onto the uh, intake hose. And so this takes a little bit of elbow grease. You gotta be like a doctor and have a lot of patience. Hopefully uh, you guys laughed right there, haha. <laughs> and uh, you gotta, you know, take your time with it. Be really careful not to screw anything up. But once you have that on, you are pretty much set to go. It is smooth sailing from here. And what you're gonna do is install the uh, billet wall and the actual intake cone. So you can see that this part is on here and you uh, can see that the uh, wire that you unplugged is not plugged in onto that airflow sensor and you don't want to do that until you're done at the very end but don't forget to re-plug that in so as you can see you side the air filter on you tighten the hose clamp you know make sure you followed all the instructions on the PDF that's what I was looking at on my phone and then make sure that you have it angled down so that the hood can close easily and that it's getting the coldest air possible. Once you have that done, you plug in the airflow sensor, put the original duct back on, and you're all set to go have fun with your car. So install, really nice and easy. All right guys, well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. You got to hear the sounds of the Craven Speed intake. Uh, I really hope that this you know, did it even a little bit of justice with the mic setup. It sounds so good in person. And if you're in the San Jose area and you want to hear my car, send me a DM on Instagram, at a car photographer. I'd be glad to uh, show you what it sounds like. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to get this intake for your car, the link to Craven Speed's website is down below. Thanks again to Dynamic Detailing in Santa Clara for letting me film the install in their shop. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>